Hello and welcome to episode 53 of series 7 of Master League Story Mode. My word is this a packed episode. We start off with the Super Cup against PSG. We can win another trophy for Michael Caine's cabinet. Then we've got Newcastle to kick the Premier League season off and Arsenal as well most likely to happen in this episode just a couple of days before what could be the most important transfer window in the history of the club. In fact, screw that. It's absolutely the most important one. We need a keeper. We need backup. There's a lot of positions we need to improve on. We don't have too much time. We don't have too much money. A lot of dead wood needs to leave the club today, but there's so much, so much to concentrate on that we're just going to have to get straight into it. Let's fucking go. Come on. So, 11 mil in the transfer budget looking a little bit low, but that salary budget, mwah, there's some good shit to be done there. And let's not forget, we've got some really, really great players. Ideal situation is we sign McKenney, Dembele and Gomez and a keeper and maybe a left back. But it would have to be first choice, otherwise it's not worth it because Malang Saar can come in and play there. I'll be more than happy with Ronaldo Vieira. I think McKenney, Weston McKinney, McKenney? Western, is it? Is the, is the better option here. But not by much. Right, let's play this first game so we can uh, crack on. What you cannot let me do is on the game, if we've only got a game two days before transfer deadline, look at that kit. That is lovely. Uh, there's me in the kit there. Look at that. Without the bottom of my beard, it looks like I've got a hand of my moustache. That's classy. Love that. Oh, hang on. There we go. Look at that kit. Yes. Um, so, let's take a look at the teams as we vie to win our first bit of silverware for the season. Let's take a look here. How's everyone doing today? Ooh, Moises. Not up for this. Which will be our first look at Diego Dallo. Diogo Dallo? Diogo. DD. Um, Caicedo won't start today. We could play Silver in midfield, play Saar at left back. We do have Matty Cash now, who can actually do a pretty good impression of a defensive midfielder. <laughs> um, this does show that we definitely do need another central midfielder, doesn't it? Yeah, we're di dying for another central mid. Vieira will be absolutely good enough for this, but McKinney, McKinney would, be, would be brilliant as well. Um, particularly with the silver on a downward arrow, that's not ideal, is it? Um, bench is looking a little bit weak at the moment, has to be said. Let's do that. And let's give Saar his first minutes in a leatherhead shirt. Saar is a good left back. Let's not forget he's actually higher rated at left back than De Silva. Very good defensively. Quick. He's got that 77 lofted passing. He will do a job there. He's not as classy. Not as classy as uh, Josh De Silva, but he will certainly do a job there. I'm not concerned about that at all. Uh, Caicedo up to 80. Yeah, he's progressing nicely. This front three doesn't really change for me, even with the new signings coming in. Zanatdinov and Gomez is going to be a question that needs answering. But for now, as we've said, we've got no problems goal scoring. Um, so we keep it as it is. Let's take a look at PSG. Presumably won the Champions League then. They must have done. Uh, Neymar, yeah, I've heard of him. Yeah, look pretty decent. 84 rated Richarlison, interesting. Well, Malang Saar and Dallo, their first games for the club are going to be a real test. Let's get into it, shall we? Ooh. So here we are at Ibrox, of course, for a battle of the two most successful European teams this season. And a Super Cup would go very nicely alongside our Europa League trophy, FA Cup trophy, and one other? Not sure about that. Anyway, we'll see. Go Will he keep his place in this side? Well, he's in Hunter's plans. He is the club captain. I can't see him being changed here. So, uh, oh, new kits looking lovely. I love the pink and black hoops. <laughs> Hoop socks as well. We've taken a level up in, uh, in style, I'd say, this season. And hopefully that will give us the edge as we look to uh, really genuinely compete for the Premier League this season. That is the goal. But look at that. Looking very, very nice. Talis Mango, we expect a big season from him. Still getting better and better and better. 
Uh, this could be interesting. Icardi, a dangerous one, of course. De Silva in midfield. Charleston gets the shot. Wow, okay. Okay. A little warning shot there. De Silva out, yes. Put him anywhere on the pitch, he'll do a job. Timothy Way, a lovely touch. Plays an out now to Charlie Hester Cook. Floats one in towards Talismango. We'll let it fall. <laughs> I can never get the, the tune right for Mango number five. Mango number five. A little bit of finishing in my life. A little bit of Brazilian in Europe. Anyway, what a juicy, juicy finish once again from the young Brazilian. Look at that keeper kit as well. Big Woody looking very good. Lovely work here, and this, well, team of the season player, Charlie Hester Cook. Maybe one of the only players in this side who could pick that pass. Maybe one of the only players in the world who could pick that pass. Charlie Hester Cook. A lot of uh, Leatherhead fans, well, not a lot, a small, noisy minority saying he should be replaced. But not when he keeps performing. He's such a good player. We need to play him more. Looking to respond here. Icardi, big save. Big Woody. So that's a good ball out. No, can't keep it in. Bought with a pretty reasonable fee from United. And now he runs forward here into space. No one challenging him here. We'll look to slip in Timothy Ware and he's through here. Good ball. The King is there on the rebound. So close to making it two here. Chesty boy. Couldn't get there. Oh, chance here for Richarlison. It's a great block there. Huge, huge block. Oh, mistake. Weyer. Zanatinov. Chesty boy. Looking for Weyer. Oh, what a goal again. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I've heard they actually call Iniesta the Spanish Charlie Hester Cook. That's what I've heard. That's just, that's all I've ever heard. Um, but look at this. Great ball from Zanatinov. But once again... It's a pinpoint chipped ball from Charlie Hester Cook. I mean, we're looking at some really great options in midfield. But do any of them have the connection that Chesty Boy has with our players? I don't think so. Neymar's shot blocked. Yes. Our mark is approaching here. Dallas look great. If he can pick this pass. Oh, we can. What a ball. The king. Oh, long live the king. Long. This is too easy. This is far too easy. We love Europe. The pink shirts unmatched. I mean, PSG look broken here. Talis Mango, what a ball through. Easy finish for the king. The Chilean. Can he get back here to prevent Volan putting one away? He can't. Icardi on the follow up, though. What a save, Big Woody. <laughs> what a save. <laughs> With PSG pressing everything forward. There's time and space for the new right back to bring it forward here. Diogo Dallo. <laughs> and he scores his first goal for the club in Leatherhead's route of the Champions League winners. PSG just rolling over here and being tickled. Tickled. I mean, this happens every single time in Europe. We get the early goal. The bigger side has to push forward. And we hit them on the break. It's simple. Playing exactly into our hands. And we finish. Well, we start. I don't know. We start our uh, European journey this season in the same way we finished it. Or we finished it in the same way that we've continued it. Just looking dominant. Just enjoying ourselves in Europe. We are a, a European specialist. Oh, look at that. Reese Williams. Don't injure him. Do not injure him at all. We really need to sell him. Woody looking to put Neymar under pressure. Neymar, <laughs> tired. The next generation wins it from him. Oh. <laughs> the Belgian Moroccan Messi. Yeah, that's him. That's the one. Champion. He found his level in the championship. Look at that. <laughs> and Ilyich Chair <laughs> celebrates rightly. And Hunter, newly retired Hunter. Embraces the new signing. And Josh De Silva. Josh De Silva, our BBF. And there we have it. What a performance. And another trophy is ours. And this time, the Super Cup. We just, we just love playing in Europe. 
even though we're in Scotland, which isn't technically in Europe anymore, but we just absolutely fucking love it. And another trophy. A well, well won trophy. And of course, it's going to be Reese Williams who lifts it today. Who else? Who else? That's got to put him surely in the eyes of some of the scouts <laughs> that we're trying to sell him to. <laughs> oh, great stuff. Didn't expect to see Ilias Chair and Reese Williams in this lineup here, but the trophy cabinet continues to be stuffed full by this incredible team. <laughs> yeah. Exceptional work from Leatherhead. There we have it. And another trophy is ours. Williams, enjoy the limelight while you can. That could be your last action for the club. <laughs> he really is drinking that in. He's enjoying himself. He gets five minutes in the European pink shirt winning a trophy. He's basically full kit wankered himself into the, uh, <laughs> the John Terry style celebration. He did actually technically play. So, great game. Great game. Right. Now, things get interesting. Stop, 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 no, no. Oh, you piece of shit. Well, that's fine. Just got to have a keeper scouted here. Please, scout. No scouts! Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh, this does feel like it's gonna go down to transfer deadline day. Ah, oh, here we are. How do we feel going into the first match of the season? Excited, um, anxious, more excited. Probably should have signed Gomez before this game just to give us options, but I think we'll be all right. Um, a strong start is key to taking the title. That's where we are. That's what we want. Uh, right, let's take a look at the sides for our first game as Europa League champions back at the Michael Caine Arena. Ooh, and Talis Mango instantly out of the side there. Armstrong in, could well be leaving us. We are looking a little light here. We've got two keepers. Oh, no, one keeper there. Um, Williams, Europa League. <laughs> Trophy lifter extraordinaire. <laughs> Back off the bench. Let's have some passion tokens, please. We have to start strongly here. This is a very important game. Um, Armstrong back in. It's a very traditional leatherhead side here. Not much of a change. Dallow, the only real... Uh, well, the only change, really. The only new signing. It's going to make his way into theme. Saar looked really solid at left back. Could be a good option at centre back as well. But Will Seeger has really got to let himself down to lose his spot. Thank you for the golden shower, everyone. That's much appreciated. I feel refreshed and ready to go. Let's take a look. Steve Bruce's Newcastle or Ryan Sessignon. That's a great signing for them. Big John Voldemort in the centre. Jamal Lewis. Good back line. Strong back line. The right back. 69 rated. Okay. And Callum Wilson up top. Dallow early ball in. Looking for Weyer. Shah is there. BB King now. Difficult opportunity. Whoa, struck it well. <laughs> struck it very well. Eli's found a Leicester link. We go live to head scout Eli. Who could have secured as Kasper Schmeichel. Kasper Schmeichel's signature. Which would, I think, be worth going for at 8 million. Josh De Silva. Keeps him honest there. Oh, what a ball in. Armstrong, it's got to be. <gasps> oh, I forgot he shit at passing. Should have just hit that again. It's Charlie Hester Cook unlocking defences with that wand of a right foot. Caicedo will keep it alive here. Oh, absolute dominance here from Leatherhead. Now, Mo oh, fucking hell. How can you end it there? Well, very, very straightforward half from Leatherhead, except for the crucial thing, putting the ball in the net. Caicedo into way up. Inside looking for the king. Shah has to deal with it and just about does. <laughs> It's going to be a tap in to come soon. I can feel it. Can't believe this. Cannot believe this, lads. Armstrong, lovely touch. Zanatinov. Oh, the ball was on. You'll never have a one more, more one-sided game than this. Probably should go attacking, shouldn't we? Always forget to do that. Armstrong, Zanatinov, way up. Can you play it back into him? He can. The Kazakhstan, he's in town. Yes. We are the nutter. Original. Bam, 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 nutter. Original. Incredible. Oh, well, that was painful. That was painful. But we've kept plugging away there. And it's Seager bringing it forward. 
Nice interplay here. A little bit of luck, a little bit of good fortune, but no less than we deserved after a half of just plugging away at a Newcastle side. Content to sit back and soak up the pressure here at one of the uh, title contenders for this season. They've come here to spoil our party, our opening day celebration. Well, we kept plugging away, and that's all you can do sometimes in these games. Newcastle came here with a game plan and executed it pretty much to perfection for 80 minutes in this one. <sighs> but the Green Army's pressure was always going to fold them eventually. Oh. Back on the old coffee. Hopefully we've got Caicedo's, uh, you know, Ecuadorian link up for some really good shit. Some of the purest South American black crack. Because he drinks a hell of a lot of coffee. It is a keeper. And he's 81 rated. Come on down, Livakovic. <laughs> That's what we want to see. Come on then. Ooh, Farines. Okay. That sounds South American. 80 rated. 26 year old. Good passer. Look at that. 69 passing. Livakovic, you could barely pick a better keeper. That's interesting, Alfie. We'll have another look then on the basis of that. Okay. Interesting. Short keeper. Very short keeper. 181 centimetres. Gonna have to add him to the list as well. Right, Farinas, he's going to be cheap. Million and hours. Look at that. He's basically free. He's basically free. We fucked him here. We have fucked him. Two million salary is, is spendy, but we can afford that. That is an easy decision then. Deal done. No brain. Have to sign him. Thank you. All right, let's do Gomez and Farinas now, because those are no questions asked. The angel. Earth angel comes in. Very interesting signing there. We have to learn a bit more about him soon. I think we're going to have to do a bit of Googling here. And Farines, in from Milanarios, the Venezuelan, adding to the South American feel to this Leatherhead side. Two lovely little signings there, leaving us with 5.4 mil. Look at that kit, looking gorgeous. And pulling it on is the Englishman, Angel Gomez. What an interesting signing this will be. Hunter looking to add some creativity some dynamism, a really strong option off the bench, and someone to push Zanatdanov for his position. <sighs> Exciting. An angry Phil Collins looking as uh, nonplussed as ever. Is it Angel or Angel? I don't know. We'll, we'll find that out as we go into an absolutely crucial game here. I can't believe it. This has been an eventful episode, definitely, as we take a trip to the Emirates. <laughs> Hunter will be keen to get a win here. This would be monumental. After everything we've been through, this would be a huge start to the season. So Gomez won't start today. If we were to bring him in, we're down to 86. It's only a two-team spirit hit, which isn't too bad with Zanatanov off. Um, BB King on a downward arrow, not ideal. We are missing just an additional winger, aren't we, I think? Uh, okay. Very, very strong Arsenal side today. 84 rated Saliba alongside Gabby, no goals. Very, very strong Arsenal side. We always have issues. Aubameyang always scores. Insigne really dangerous. Grealish on the bench. Vardy on the bench. Arteta's created a really strong team here. He's added experience to the youth. He's managed to bring Gwendouzi back into the fold. <sighs> this never goes well for Leatherhead, this one. And there he is, Wilka. Wilka Farinez. The diminutive Venezuelan. A South American keeper. They are in vogue in the league at the moment. They're normally a bit taller. Edison. Um, the Allison. <laughs> the other one. Pepe. Finds Torreira. It's really well worked here by Arsenal. And they've got an overlap here. And it is the Scotsman, Kieran Tierney, the captain for Arsenal today. Inside to Insigne. Moves it on now. Joe Willock with the... Oh, son of a bitch. Why? Arsenal. Every fucking time. Joe Willock with an absolute thunder bastard there. Oh, no. We've shown very little. Farinez, the new keeper. Nothing he could do about that. Senior laid it off. 
Oof. It's a bloody, bloody good hit there. Well. Diego Dallo. Timothy Weir. Oh, 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 oh no. Great ball in. Again, the overlapping run is a good one. Can he whip another good cross in here? Bellerin heads away. Oh, there's no other players to get to this. And now Pepe in a dangerous area here. Oh, shit. I feel where this is going. Some fucking go to him. No, Insigne. Seager, yes. We don't normally like to go attacking in the first half. It leaves gaps as it did there. But now we can break with Hester Cook. So Nat Denov, lovely first touch. Yes. Incredible. Incredible. Lovely flowing counter-attack there from Leatherhead. As Zanat Denov shushes the Emirates. Shh. Shh. Come on then. Green Army. Yes, that's what we needed. End-to-end -end stuff here at the Emirates. Charlie Hester Cook finding loads of space. It's a simple ball, but a really nice first touch. Away from Gabrielle. And a good finish on the right foot. Two goals in two games to start the season off here for Zanatinov with Angel Gomez on the bench lurking <laughs> worryingly. Some lovely touch there, Zanatinov. BB King now. Oh, De Silva's nicked to here. Low ball in. Timothy, it's got to be. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say where. I said boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say where. Where. Responding instantly to the miss at the end of the first half. Comes on to make amends in the second. And it is great work there from Josh De Silva. The catalyst for that goal. He is... He's our first choice left back. I don't see us bettering him. Honestly, I don't. Look at this. Had no right to nick it here off Bellerin, but he guessed right. Put a low, drilled cross in. Really difficult there. Insigne. Oh, Solis, who's made a meal of that. But between them... They deal with it well. That's what we need to see this season. That defensive partnership continuing to strengthen. We are pressing them high up the pitch here. 70 minutes on the clock. Don't know how long we can manage that for. Caicedo does really well. BB King. Timothy Weyer lays it off to Chesty Boy. Wide to Dallow. So much time to look up here. Surely it's got to be way with his second. He's missed the fucking end of the pitch. He has missed the end of the pitch he was aiming for. That had to be. Surely the winner. Dallow's cross. Pinpoint accurate. Arsenal allowing themselves to make these mistakes again. Ah, oh, Terrera, great challenge. We had to make that into a goal storing chance there. Ball around the corner, looking for Talismanga. Oh, lovely take. Ball inside. Timothy Weyer to kill it. <laughs> yes. <gasps> boom, boom, boom. Let me hear you say Weyer. <laughs> say boom, boom, boom. <laughs> yes. And that seals it here. And you can see what it means to the Leatherhead players. And Hunter will be in dreamland here. And this is very well worked from Leatherhead. Just probing. Great ball into Talismango. Could have had a shot there. But kept his cool, calm composure, as he always does. Go on, Matty. Ah, well, hey, what a performance that is from Leatherhead. They went behind, but they came back with style to get a very, very rare and much coveted win against an Arsenal side that have been our, uh, yeah, they've been our voodoo, hoodoo team. We just haven't been able to beat them. And this will, uh, sure, make some amends for uh, Hunter's treatment at the hands of the club. The club that he was a fan of from birth. The club that he played for. And the club that left him in the dirt and the dust after the broken legs. No support. And we've got the win. Super Cup and a win against Arsenal. You can't ask much more than that to start the season. That is a huge, huge performance, though, from the Tanners. The one that rightly sees us go second. And that's where we need to be. Well, Steel can definitely go. Man of Steel. V's in the chat, please, everyone. V's in the chat for uh, our number one keeper. In the uh, championship era. 
230 grand salary. No, 230 grand transfer, 250 salary. Lovely work. Um, Tosin. He's not going to play, is he? If one of Sega and Salisu is out, Saar comes in, Calabresi as good. Williams, obviously, an option as well. Unfortunately, and this pains me, we do need to sell him two leads. That is, that is difficult to take, but I think it has to be done. Oh, I don't want to do this, but really, we need that money. He is on 600 grand salary as well. He doesn't deserve to go. He's been excellent. Still absolutely do a job. But we don't need him. We don't need him. But yeah, Tosin, V's in the chat, please. For big Tosin. Tosin tossed. Oh, it's a shame. That 8.9 million, though, crucial. Um... All right, we're going to sell Armstrong. Oh, no. I don't want to do this. It means we have to bring in Dembele, but it's happening. So Dembele out. 13.5 million there. <laughs> Just about nails us McKenney. V's in the chat. Absolute fucking V's in the chat for our man, Adam Armstrong. When you're in trouble, you call the AA, and my word did he deliver. He was the fourth emergency service for us. I do like Catrone. We think Catrone loan better. He is good, but I, that's what I'm... Mm. All right, Catrone loan. Catrone loany. It's cheap. All right, that's worth a punt. Retegui. Is he real? Is he real? 1.2 mil release fee. Doesn't sound real. Is he real? Matteo Retegui. He is real. He's good. Would we maybe be able to sneak in Retegui and McKinney? Somehow? I feel like this is a, a, sh a fairly decent shout. Jarp. Jarp. Is he real then? <laughs> He's good. Sort of. Fiat Jean, Jean Fiat Arp. Oh, Jean Fiat. Nice head of hair. Lovely Aryan head of hair there. Quite liking Jarp and McKenney as an option. Uh, okay, right. Well, we've played our hand here. Yes! Yes! Dembele McKenney coming in. You absolute legend. So, cash out. 14 million, cash the fuck out. I think we've just got enough time to sell cash. <sighs> Look at that healthy budget there. Four hours, wow, that is close. Wiki Wiki Wild Wild Western, yes. <laughs> what a big signing this is. Oh. Uh, Three Americans now. This guy is the um, the option off the bench that we've dreamed of. It's a loan signing, of course. But we've got it done there, right down to the wire. Wow, that could not have been any closer. We've got the signings we needed. Matty Cash out. McKenny Dembele in. Wow, so there we have it. An incredible window. It went down to the wire. The fax machines were going wild with just minutes to spare in the window, but we got rid of Matty Cash. We've signed now six, I think, incredible players. We've got three 81 rated players on the bench and they can slot in pretty well into this side. We've set ourselves up now for what has to be a Premier League winning season. At the very least, we have to be competing for that top spot all the way to the end. So join me on Friday, if you can, for our first stream with this new look side, 9pm on Twitch. If not, like and subscribe. I'll see you in a bit.